Hello, uh, my name's Webster's. Uh, welcome to my first ever Battlefield 4 video. Um, I've decided to make a few of these because um, basically uh, there's a lot of very, very good YouTubers out there, um, like Level Cap and um, Frankie and Jack Frags and all those guys who uh, make excellent videos of Battlefield 4, um, but also very, very good players. Um, and there's no real videos out there of, of average gamers, which um, uh, I, well, I fulfil that criteria very nicely. So um, I thought I'd put together a few uh, videos of uh, showing what goes through the mind of uh, an average gamer, and also explaining why I make certain decisions during a match and uh, why I do certain things and go certain places. Because I'm not, uh, I'm not a 17 year old with um, uh, lightning reflexes anymore, hyped up on Red Bull. I'm kind of an old, slow old man. Um, I guess I rely. Oh, hello. Ahead of me there, first one I've seen. Oh, what's another one? Uh, I guess I rely more on positioning and awareness and just trying to be in the right place at the right time rather than any sort of amazing one-on-one um, -on -one skills. I'm not, I'm not the best at aiming, I'm not the best at, you know, uh, killing mans when they, when they can actually see me, which is always um, a bad thing. So I'm going to be recording a few um, a full clips of uh, whole games, basically, from start to finish. So there's going to be bo some boring bits, some exciting bits, some stupid bits. Um, and just explaining why I do certain things so, you, uh, you know, maybe new players can learn um, more about the game or current players can just get an insight into how other people think when they play, which I think would be kind of interesting. So we started off here on Rush on Flood Zone. Uh, as you can see, I'm sort of wandering around like a very confused um, uh, Alzheimer's patient at the moment. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know where the front line is. I've just seen on my mini-map there, there's two dudes coming over the hill, so I'm vaguely chucking d grenades in their direction to put them off. Um, but that's the problem when you join a game, you know, halfway through, which I've done here, you, you <laughs> just get really turned around, you don't know what's going on. There's an LAV on the bridge, is there? I thought, I've, I've literally seen, not seen any enemies here for quite some time. Oh, there's one. Um, so I'm just trying to stay alive at the moment, basically. I'm, I'm hanging around one of the MCOMs. I'm not trying to get too aggressive or anything. I'm just defending the MCOM quite close. I'm using an AEK, which is uh, one of my favourite guns from BF3. I really like it BF4 as well, but it kicks like a mule. And it's not great for long-range engagements, so I'm just trying to stay you know, pretty close to things. Oh, ah. Okay, did not see that quite coming at all. Um, look out, he's, he's arming, get him! Oh, yeah, he's got him. Oh, he's managed to arm it. That's Clever of him. Uh, so yeah, I'm just staying close to the objective, I'm trying to cover it. I mean, we've almost won this actually. Now look, uh, the game's going to end. Some more dudes flanking there on the mini map, you can see. Uh, but that's the end of the game. So hopefully we'll get into a proper game now. Uh, proper round now. Uh, next one, a rush again. This time on. Uh, fuck. Hello. Uh, this time on. Uh, Zavod. Um, well, I've never played Rush on this map before, I don't know what's going on. There's a dead people over there. Um, I'm not too confident about leaving this nice safe area because I don't know where anyone is or what's going on. Ow! Ooh, bullets. I can assume the enemy's over there somewhere in the garage. Um, I'm just going to cover my teammates for a bit here. Ooh, there's a man. And try and figure out where everyone is. Uh, there's another man. There's probably a few guys on the bridge line up there as well, so I'm still a bit afraid of leaving this nice safe area. We've got, we've planted on A, so I actually don't know where any of the MCOMs are in this map either, which isn't a big help. Um, okay, I've got to go for it, I can't hang around here all day. There's another one. Gonna have to make a push forward in a second. Yeah, there's definitely a few guys on the bridge line, but they're pretty surprised, so I'm gonna go for it. Um, look at the mini map here, um, I'm gonna try and do, try and flank around. Get through this barbed wire. Um, nope. The, the, the most indestructible barbed wire in the world, so okay, forget that. There's a guy there, I just seen on my mini map. No, he's dead, that's okay. So, let's push it up with the teammates here. Through this doorway. I still have lots of enemies on the mini map, but I don't know if they're above us or below us or anything, so I've got to take it very slowly. I think. Uh, oh, we planted B as well, so that's good. So I'm just trying to clear out. Check, check those corners! Check those corners! Can I clear out this area here? Cover my teammates. Um, let's try this corner. I can hear gunfire. Ooh! Hello! Oh. Not sure how I won that fight. 
plenty of dudes. Oh, I see, they were distracted by me. <laughs> by my, my teammates. Oh, very short, very short time delay on uh, being able to res people which be a fortune that like Claymore down there. Don't want to go down there. Oop, I think my teammate has just sacrificed himself. So let's pick him up and uh, carry on down there. Just to make sure B gets exploded. Ooh, res that dude. No, ring grenade! Okay, so I was a bit too concerned about trying to res someone there rather than looking out for enemies, which is a you know a common flaw in my gameplay. I'm desperate to res people and uh, don't look out for what's going on around me. So, spawn my squad leader here. Um, I mean, my basic objective, whatever I play, is to just go go and camp points or follow my squad leader and squad members around to help them out as much as I can. Uh, it's not about farming kills or anything like that. Actually, when I try and get kills, you know, when I try and do that kind of stuff, I have very, very bad games. I always play better when I try and uh, not even focus on kills, really, and just follow my teammates around and help out, cover them and stuff. So I'm going to try, I still don't really know the layout of this uh, part of the map very well, so I'm just going to flank around the edge. Here you see the out of bounds there on the left, so I know enemies aren't going to be coming from that direction, so I feel a little bit safe around here. Uh, that's the plan, to flank around to the left. And push up all this attack. Oh, 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 it's not on the mini map. Oh, I think that's what I, oh. well, <laughs> there we go, a bullet through the head and a tank shell through the mouth. So, uh, fucked both ways there. What's he doing around there? He's miles away from his MCOMs. Um, okay, so looking on the map, we've got a teammate and a tank, so I'm just going to go and help him. Spawn his engineer, help him out. Oh, he's getting hammered by RPGs. So I'm just going to try and repair him. Because a single player in a tank, you know, is uh, quite effective, but having two players in a tank um, is ten times more effective. When you've got a gunner who can hop out and repair you, the tank really becomes forced to be reckoned with. I mean, a single tank, with just a driver, can be picked up quite easily. When you've got two guys covering, and even better if you've got infantry on foot protecting the tank as well, then that's when a tank really comes into its own. I feel like that. Should have got behind the tank there to repair it. That guy had me bang to right. Oh, what a lovely emblem he's got! I mean, uh, seriously, Dice, what you, you gave players the power to make any shapes they wanted, and of course they're going to make dicks. But what were you thinking? I've had tanks been blown up, so I will find some teammates who spawns. Oh, in good positions here, they're in front of the MCOM, so we've got a good chance to block off. There's that enemy tank. We've got a good chance to block off enemy reinforcements by holding, in, holding this building, which is what I'm going to try and do. Squad's up here with me, so good position. There's a dude behind that fence there, there's dudes coming in around there. Literally swarming with dudes. Ooh, well, uh, did a good job of shooting the window there, so they're going to be coming up these stairs, I reckon. They have the throw grenades in, that's what I would be doing right now. Ooh, flashbang, that's quite effective, isn't it? Fuck. Um, yeah, here they come, up the stairs. God, Jesus. So many explosions in this game. Oh. Gonna give me uh oh, another guy. Gonna give me uh, PTSD. Oh, okay, there's a guy uh, with a machine gun. And there's bank to rights there. So what now? How are we doing on the MCOMs? Uh hard to tell. Our oh, squad's still in that building, so should I spawn on them? Seems okay. Nope. No, no. <laughs> it was not okay. <laughs> Literally the Worst place to spawn. Literally spawned. <laughs> that's that guy who's swinging his knife. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Oh, we planted a day. That's good. So we look like we're planting a plant B pretty soon. So this is a warning, but I'm going to go for it. Risk it and stay close to the MCOM with my squad. I'm getting hammered by explosives here, but it's got to hold out for a little longer. I have a peak up here. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's hundreds of them. Bloody Zulus, hundreds of them. I don't know why I'm. An Australian accent for that rendition of the, the film Zulu. I don't think there were any Australians in that film. There's all these many, many dudes up there, so I'm just going to stay behind cover and put some fire down on them. So the going to go in a second, so I think we're okay. Yeah, there we go, that's good. So, the trick is now, MCOMs are gone, just clean up any survivors that are left over. You can see the AK there, just trying to do two or three round bursts because it's so. Such high recoil. I mean, I've got two attachments on to manage the recoil, but it's still quite bad. Um, I mean, I, I, but I'm tossed up between.
between this and the SAR-21, which is the exact opposite of the AEK, AEK much like rate of fire, but, you know, it's like a fucking laser gun, just deadly accurate. I jumped out of my teammate's truck there, because I don't always trust people who drive in trucks, they tend to be very suicidal. Um, but that is good, though, that is good that he's collected the whole squad there and moved off, I should have stayed with him, actually, so what I'll do is I'll... I'll head back here and uh, have we got two tanks on this on this map? That's good. Head back here. Um act as a gunner for this guy. I'm not an engineer unfortunately, so I can't help him with that much. But I will act as gunner. Um I do like the thermal sights. Um although I find the machine guns in Battlefield 4 are slightly harder to aim than they were in Battlefield 3. You know, the bullets, the bullets just seem smaller if that makes sense. I don't really know if it does. Um so I, you know I, I like um the zoom optics a little bit more battle before, but in the end it's just went the thermal because it's so effective at spotting people. So, uh, you know, I think a tank gunner, secondary gunner, is such an important role and really ain't um, undervalued by people. I mean, it really does. Oh, fucking hell. Many, many dudes planting C4 on that tank. Whoa! <laughs> you see what happened there? The guy that planted C4 had a buddy spawn, um, and then the guy that knifed him thought he was the guy planting the C4, but he wasn't, so... Uh, the tank blew up there. So yeah, ooh, another thing, enemy care packages can be used to heal yourself, which is quite useful to know. So yeah, anyway, uh, secondary gunners and tanks are really, really effective positions to be in. Um, especially if you can jump out and repair. So all I'm going to do now is just guard this MCOM. I'm not going to push up. Uh, don't can't see anyone on the mini-map. Oh, there we go, a couple of guys there trying to plant, but we got them. Just gonna guard the same guy until it goes. One or two blips in the minimap. One guy getting around behind us, I'm gonna have a look at him. There he is. Can't hear him. Oh, can't hear him! Fuck, Jesus! That's oh, okay, teammate got him, so. There's another another friendly tag, I'm gonna go follow him, and even if he's got a gunner in, I'm just gonna support him as infantry, take out any engineers that try and target him. Uh, their gunner's jumped out, so I'm gonna get in. Act as the gunner on this guy, he's on my squad, so. Makes sense. Oh, I've gone all, uh, gone all 1950s sepia here, you know. feel like I'm in a band of brothers or something. There we go. Another guy. MCOM planted. That's pretty good. Um, it's a funny visual effect, isn't it? So there's no one behind us. So what I'm doing here, I'm checking left and right, checking behind. Um, you don't... As a tank secondary gunner, you don't always... Well, usually, you don't want to be looking in the same direction as your main gunner, and you want to be checking where he's not checking, which doubles your effectiveness, basically. But I'm pretty pretty confident there's nobody behind us at the moment, we're safe in the building, there's no one left, left to the right, so I'm just looking forward and trying to keep these engineers suppressed. Normally now I jump out and repair my car, obviously, which is slightly annoying, even though he's requesting repairs, no can do, buddy, why don't you do it yourself, you lazy fuck? You are an engineer and I'm not. So just waiting for the game to advance us to the next Set of oh, there's a lot of guys in the mini map. Oh, that's making me feel sick. There's so many guys. Um, I don't know if they're above us or below us. They must be above us because people love to hang out on roofs. But I can't see any. Very slightly worrying, actually, slightly worrying. But, um, actually, if they're there, it's not too bad because they'll be fucking around on the roof and we can push on to the next objective, which is quite some way away, so they can stay there for all I care. So, just checking this left and right, looking for. You know, ambush engineers. You can see here that on our right there, that guy in a jeep is going up. Sorry, an MRAP is going up with uh, full of squad members. Very, very useful tactic to deploy people as quickly like that. I like that. That's good teamwork. Good teamwork, bros. Um, so we've got at the back of them here. We're actually coming from behind on their own comms. And um, planting A. That's pretty good. So we, we're up. We're up in the middle of their own comms before they were ready, basically. That's pretty good. Um, and B, I've never been up, I've never even been in that building actually. Got a guy on the roof there. So I guess my tank gun is going to try and suppress that room. Ooh, guy in the building. And while I try and protect him, basically, from engineers. I've got him, another guy there. Let's see, that's that's why it's so important to have tank secretary gunners. This tank would be fucked now without um, two pairs of eyes. I'm just going to jump out and close this guy down because. I think he needs to be taken out. There we go. I'll jump back in my tank. Um, stay with your tank. As long as you can. Oh, we're down to 17 now, so I'm going to bail. I don't think he's going to last much longer. 
and I can't do anything to help him now, so I'm just going to bail. He should really, he should really be backing off now and repairing, or jumping out and repairing it. And then I'll defend the, defend the tank myself. But he didn't do that. God, look at the blips! I'm just um, trying to support our tank and our teammates here. I'm not going for the M4 myself. Oh bloody hell! Did you see that? <laughs> Guy parachuted down like a like a motherfucker there. Landed on the tank. Test some C4. Not a single fuck was given. Oh, um, that was cool. That was a good battlefield moment. Um, so yeah, I'm not going for the MCOM. I'm just going to support the guys that are going for the MCOM. You know, get their... protect their backs as they uh, are going to spawn back in the tank as an engineer this time. The tank's still up, actually. That's quite good. Gonna, uh, just support the uh, forces here. You see all the guys going to the stairwell to be... We don't need to do anything too fancy at this point. Don't need to push too far ahead. Just stay here. Stay here, defend this place. Enemy we'll tank ahead. And um, put down any any of enemy infantry that show their faces, basically. Done very well on this map, actually. It's been a bit of a steamroll. Quite impressed. Coming up to the end. Oh, we've planted the as well, so that was good. Good teamwork, guys. You know. It's very good. Back to the barracks of medals and biscuits, I think, after this. This is the guy. Spawns. Oops. Tank. Might jump out and repair him in a bit if he takes another hit. In fact, another tip there. I suppose most guys know about this already, but wherever you point your turret, you will then jump out. So if you point it behind, you can jump in behind the tank quite safely and uh, not get hit in the face by missiles or bullets or anything. So it's just, oh, there we go. Very good. So that, uh, that realm is pretty successful. And, um, okay, on to the next one, I think. Okay, here we go for the third game. Um, ah, this is uh, uh, Rogue Transmission, which is uh, Rush Again. Well, I think I'm on a Rush server here. Rush Again, anyway, which is quite funny because <laughs> you get fuck all apart from uh, these quad bikes to start off with. Uh, I don't know why it's slowing down. You can't get on. Yeah, get running. Uh, you can't get on this. Only two players. So, we're oh, we're going head first, um, straight down the middle, past our armour. Right into the enemy. This car Whoa! Rocket, this can't possibly go wrong in any way. Right to the middle of the enemy. And I died with this, you know, literally seconds. So that was um that was not not an unpredictable response to what just occurred. Um so I do quite like this map for Rush, I played it a couple of times. Um just gonna try and follow my, t my teammates again. Obviously they're flanking left up here, you've got the outbound zone on the left, so I'm gonna try and flank up to the left. I'm not I've I played on the other side of this map before and it's a bit of a kill zone coming up to B when you come over this hill here. The second hill coming up here, so oh, there's a guy already up there, you see him. So I think it's easier to take A first, obviously. So I'm going to try and just put some fire down on A. Oh, my teammates are really pushing up there, uh, getting cut to pieces. I don't know where the enemy are at this point. This foliage is foliage, foliage, foliage. These trees <laughs> make a very effective uh, camouflage for anyone lying down up there. I can hear bullets and see grenades, so they're up there somewhere. I'm still... I mean, I've got a good flank on A here to put fire down, help my teammate. I mean, see there's a vehicle and a few men down there pushing up. All dead bodies, that's not a good sign. Definitely some dudes up there, but I really don't want to stick my head over. Where do I get? Oh, there's so many dudes! Throw grenades! I don't think that's going to help very much. I think, yep, there's someone. Yeah, all that really did was tell them that there was a man there to come over and kill. Um, I've gone for the, uh, the the V mini grenades there, which um, my logic is uh, the more grenades you have, the better, even if they do slightly less damage. I think just keep <laughs> keep throwing grenades as many as you can. Well, you see, very hard to spot people coming through the top of that tree line, all those big leaves and stuff. All oh, teammates just getting slaughtered at the moment. Making me very nervous. So yes, just gonna carry on putting some fire down on A. I still don't feel very safe. And I'm not very safe because people are shooting me in the back. What's he doing down there, cheeky little blighter? That's a, another lovely emblem there. A the woman's buttocks holding a gun. So, equality for all in Battlefield 4. Okay, um, 
Oh, that's good. Whoa, better press space bar. Fucking hell. <laughs> I forgot about that. Use a parachute. But that's good. I'm really glad uh, the recon on our squad is putting down spawn beacons. Spawn beacons are so important in rush as well. To get even I mean even if you halve the distance, that really makes a big, big impact on um being able to put men forward to take the points. Because if you go back to all the way to the base, then you you know the time it gives the defenders to set up positions and recover is uh, just too long. So just trying to res if you do, take it, play it cautiously here. Still, I just put some fire down on the tree line because I don't know. Oh no, he's behind me. Of course, of course he's behind me. I should have looked around there a long time ago. Sorry, that was uh, that was not a good play there. That was just sort of randomly firing through the tree line. So not only was I giving my position away, I wasn't looking behind as well. But oh look, our squad's got an amazing position there. How'd they get around there and put a small beacon there? So my uh, my squad is arming. These guys are these guys are kicking ass. The squad's arming. Um, so I'm just going to help help out. Make sure the uh, enemy's dead before we res the man. I'm going to stay here. Res another man. Uh, cover the cover the far right hand approach. Looks like our squad is on top of things here. There's a chap. Not nobody on the mini map, so I think we're pretty safe. So that's both points gone, and now I have a feeling there's going to be quite a few dudes behind us. Yeah, look, you see on the mini map there. There's quite a few dudes on the on the hill where we're behind our line, so it's important to clear them out just so they don't waste tickets while we're reforming for our next attack. I'm just going to go up and help out here. We had, um, or we have, sorry, a commander on our team here. I guess they have an enemy commander because occasionally I'm getting the uh, the red, the red green flash. I mean, uh, there it is. I thought it was a bug initially, you know, because uh, it was so annoying. But it's not. Apparently, it's the when the enemy commander puts the EMP UAV in place. It's um, so you know that your spotting abilities are being blocked. But it's so fucking annoying, they should change it to something else, because it's just, you know, why should an EMP affect your vision? This doesn't make any sense unless you've got, you know, robot eyes. Just peek, peeking over there, oh, there's a lot of guys. Oh, now they're throwing all the grenades! Run away! That swag guy's, uh, swag guy's got me on toast this round, three times. But see, that's why I go for the, the V40 minute, you know, just keep, keep throwing the grenades at the dude, and eventually the dude will die. Got a helicopter up and shall I spawn on him as an engineer? No, he's being exploded by the AA there. So just on a quad bike, waiting for someone to spawn. I think I will go left, um, far left, hugging the outer bound zone. Try and get in a position to cap B. There's a lot of fighting, most of the fighting seems to be around A at the moment. I won't go too far. Now, I might get off here. Oh, that was lucky, there was a rocket, I think, aimed at the quad bike there. So this is very worrying, because there's leaves and trees and bullets and men. This is just like, oh, it's like fucking Vietnam, this is terrible. I don't know what's going on here. Really, quite a panic at the moment. I'm just trying to keep my head down, figure out where the enemy are, because they're all over the mini-map again. I don't think there's anyone behind us, but they're to the in front and to the right. It's too far away to make a rush for the point for the MCOM at the moment. That was terrible shooting, that really was. Let's res this guy and keep low. This guy's at least three directions now, I think. Where's he going? What's he doing on his on his quad bike there? Evil Knievel, well thank you very much, squad mate, for taking the bullets meant for me. Just sneak forward now. Check the right hand side. I should have got him there. Oh, should have got him there. Oh, someone else there. That's okay. There's a guy behind us. Oh, uh, no, he's been taken care of. We planted A, but we planted A. We planted A already. It just keeps getting diffused. Oh, someone's shooting me. I don't know where from. Uh, there's a guy up there with a sniper rifle. Yeah, yeah, did not see him at all. A is still going. So I might, if A is still going, I'm not, I can't spawn anyone near A unfortunately. So, oh, we've got a, a beacon down near B which is very well placed. So I'll come down on that. Try, I might try and go for B straight away here actually. 
And this is where I wish I had a silencer, but I'm gonna have to take out as many of these guys as I can. And oh, maybe I'll squad can plant when I take them out. That's what I'm thinking now. Oh. Why did I reloaded? Why have I got to my pistol? I don't know. Ooh. This is getting very hairy. Many dudes. Oh, the squad's dead. Just me left. Oh, there's more dudes are coming out of the goddamn walls. Ugh. Well, I don't. Not a hundred percent sure why my uh, fingers made me run towards him. Then I think I thought my pistol was a reloading or out of ammo when it wasn't. It was full, and I was just blindly trying to knife him while he was shooting at me. I should have should have played it a bit cooler there. Try and stay hidden behind the pillar, and you know, popped out when he was reloading. Fortunately, I'm not that good at this game, so we will have to just uh, take it from the roof up here. This is a good position. Yes, yeah, so good position on the roof here. Try and cover the MCOM. Let the uh, other team members go for it. There don't seem to be many people up very far. There's a lot of enemies around the MCOM as well, which makes it difficult. I was thinking about jumping down myself, but... How's oh, that beep noise? I can hear a beep. Oh, there he is. Oh, hello. Um, should I jump down? Oh no, there's a guy on my team here, so he can go for it. Try and cover him. Another guy could jump it down there. Just trying to... Oh, too many dudes. Too many. Maybe I should have jumped down earlier there. If I jumped down earlier when it was empty, when it was clear of enemies, uh, I could have planted. So we have planted now. I can hear it beeping. But it's... Uh, there's only a few of us there to contest it. And they still got their AA up as well, which isn't going to help. Ah, uh, no. All the way back to spawn. Uh, grounds on fire. Standard. No reason why it shouldn't be. Uh, only got six days left. So I don't think we're gonna gonna bring this one home. I'll try and go right up the left hand side here. Might get a few more seconds to try and plant. I think it's over. I think it's over. <laughs> okay, so that was the last ticket there. Uh, my death caused by jumping out of my own quad bike and being killed by it as it ran over my face. Lovely. There it is. So, we didn't win that round, um, but it, that was a good fun round. Did quite well, I thought. Um, and that is my that is my first Battle for War video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll try and get some more gameplay in the next few days. You know, could be good stuff, could be bad stuff. Luck of the draw, really. Um, and, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Thank you.